So the state of Michigan has introduced a new bill, which aims to ban so-called assault weapons. This is all happening while the California assault weapons ban, which this one mirrors, may be found unconstitutional in the upcoming weeks. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump into this video, if you think bans on so-called assault weapons is clearly unconstitutional, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I want to thank the main sponsor of this video, which is Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI is an accredited online college that helps students learn the skills and techniques they'll need to be successful in the firearms industry. So if you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, SDI might be a good option for you. To find out more about SDI, you can visit the website linked down below. And thank you again, SDI, for sponsoring this video. How's it going, everyone? My name is Anthony Miranda. I am a licensed and practicing attorney in the state of California with an emphasis on Second Amendment rights. I've been part of Second Amendment litigation, both at a state level and a national level, while serving as a staff attorney with the Farms Policy Coalition legal team. My goal with these videos is not to provide you any legal advice, but instead to give you greater insight into the inner workings of Second Amendment litigation and help you understand what's currently going on in the battle for our right to keep and bear arms. As I mentioned in the intro, in this video, we were discussing how the state of Michigan has introduced a new bill which aims to ban the purchase, possession, and sale of so-called assault weapons. Michigan is the next in line of states that are now trying to pass some sort of radical gun control. We've seen over this last year alone that Washington state passed a magazine ban, and then recently Oregon voted into effect Measure 114, which has a ban on so-called large capacity magazines, and also created a permit to purchase firearms. Well, the Michigan Democrats did not want to be left out of all this, so they have now introduced a new bill called House Bill Number 6544. HB 6544 is a bill which will ban the manufacture, possession, purchase, and sale of so-called assault weapons. This bill mirrors the language found in other state bans on so-called assault weapons like the state of California and their ban. However, one of the interesting things with this is that the California assault weapons ban and that law in California is currently facing significant challenges. There are currently cases going on which are once again challenging the constitutionality of the California assault weapons ban. And it's looking like very soon, potentially in just weeks, that that case Miller v. Bonta, which challenges the California assault weapons ban, could also once again find that that law is unconstitutional, which again, we're going to talk about a little bit at the end because there's some significant things that may happen in that. So what does Michigan's HB 6544 do? Well, it defines any semi-automatic rifle that has the ability to accept a detachable magazine and has one or more offending features as a so-called assault weapon. If the rifle has a pistol grip, a thumb hole stock, any feature that can be held by a non-shooting hand, i.e. a vertical foregrip or maybe even a hand stop, a folding or telescoping stock, or a barrel shroud, then it would meet that definition of a so-called assault weapon. If the rifle has any one of those offending features and it's a semi-automatic rifle, then this bill would regulate it as a so-called assault weapon. So generally the possession, purchase, and sale of standard AR-15s, AKs, and other types of rifles will now be illegal in Michigan if this bill passes. However, this bill, HB 6544, attempts to soften the blow, and they do this by always trying to insert some sort of grandfather provision, where you could maintain the possession of a rifle that you had before the effective date of the bill. The bill states that a person may continue to possess an assault weapon that the person legally possessed before the effective date of this act. So as long as the rifle is purchased and possessed before the bill goes into effect, you could then lawfully keep possession of that item. However, even with that comes a huge caveat. HB 6544 also requires that those grandfathered rifles must be registered with the Department of State Police as a so-called assault weapon. That's right, Michigan wants to create a registry of so-called assault rifles of so-called assault weapons within the state. So they want to create a registry for those specific firearms. Again, this is similar to what other states did like the state of California with their registry of so-called assault weapons. One of the interesting things that HB 6544 does is it makes the registration of those rifles only good for five years. It will be the burden of the gun owner to then renew the registration with the state every five years. And if you don't, well, then you will likely have to turn over that firearm, destroy it, or maybe even change its configuration so that it no longer meets that definition of a so-called assault weapon. However, that may be next to impossible unless you're willing to take the rail off your AR-15, take a pistol grip off, pin the stock, or get a fixed stock. But really at that point, is it really even an AR? Like, is it really even functional as an AR? Because you wouldn't even have a rail at that point. Now you may be asking yourself at this point, what happens if you violate these laws? Well, under HB 6544, a violation of the provisions of this bill would mean that you can be found guilty of a felony and that is punishable of five years in prison. 
So Michigan gun owners are facing very strict criminal penalties once this bill goes into effect and if it's passed. This bill states that if it's passed, it will go into effect on January 1st of 2024. So they have a little bit of leeway as far as when this would go into effect, potentially uh, helping some people being able to acquire rifles. But again, even if you acquired rifles, they're gonna require that you have to register them with the state as a so-called assault weapon, subject them to a five year kind of time period. And then you would have to renew it every five years with the state. So for those in Michigan, you may be asking yourself if this actually has a chance of even passing. Well, indications are that yes, it does have a chance. After the recent November elections, Michigan Democrats will now have control of both of the chambers in the state legislature, and that's gonna happen in January, and that's the first time that that's happened, I believe, since 1980s, according to some reports. One of the priorities stated by the Democrats in charge, including the governor, is that they wanna pass stricter gun control laws, and this would be one of those that they are now going to wanna get passed. Because of this, all indications are that they will try to pass this, they will put a lot of effort behind this, try to get the numbers, and because of that, if you're in Michigan, Michigan, I highly recommend that you reach out to your representatives, let them know that you do not support HB 6544, that you do not support this ban on so-called assault weapons, and that you want them to oppose it. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that while Michigan is moving to pass their ban on so-called assault weapons, there is another case that's currently going on challenging a different state's ban on so-called assault weapons, and that's the California Miller v. Bonta case. And currently that ban in California is facing the potential of being found unconstitutional once again. Tomorrow on December 12th, Judge Benitez in the Southern District of California will have three major Second Amendment cases before him. Those include the Rody v. Bonta ammo restriction case, the Duncan v. Bonta magazine ban case, and also the one specific for this video, the Miller v. Bonta ban on so-called assault weapons. Each of those hearings are gonna be at various stages and are being held for various different purposes. However, in the Miller case, the parties have already fully briefed the case. They've argued it. The uh, supplemental briefs that are required have been submitted to Judge Benitez. And the motion hearing that's happening on December 12th tomorrow is specific, I believe, to a motion to intervene uh, by Giffords Law Center. So that's specific, I believe, to that motion for them to intervene, which was denied by Judge Benitez. Now he's reconsidering it. Whether or not something significant will come out of tomorrow in any of those cases, um, I wouldn't suspect it, but you never know. Uh, things can happen from the bench, especially since these cases have been going on for a while. But like I said, these are all at various stages. The Rody case is simply a status conference. And then the Miller case has to do with the motion to extend or to reconsider the um, delay of the case. The state of California wanted to delay the Duncan Magazine ban case out for as long as possible. Judge Benita said no. And now they're having to hold another hearing to reconsider whether or not he did the right thing or not. And the Miller case is completely different from that. It is a motion to intervene reconsideration because Giffords Law Center wants to get involved in that case. Judge Benita said no. And now they're saying, well, won't you reconsider that? So that's what that hearing's for. Um, whether or not, again, like I said, something significant will happen out of those cases, we don't know yet. We will have to wait and see. But the interesting thing for Michigan is that this proposed bill aims to mirror other state laws that currently are set to be found unconstitutional. But that really hasn't stopped the anti-gunners in the state of uh, Michigan and other states as well. Um, they are going to push heavily for this to get it passed in the state of Michigan. And again, I highly recommend that you contact your representatives and let them know that this is going on and also share this around, uh, share this information so other people in Michigan and surrounding areas, if you have family members in Michigan, let them know that this is currently going on and that there is going to be a push to ban so-called assault weapons within the state of Michigan. So that's what's currently going on in the state of Michigan in that new proposed bill to ban so-called assault weapons. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. As always, I wanna thank everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys directly impact these videos impact this channel, helping me to reach and educate more people than I could ever do on my own. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and never forget this nation was built by Arm Scholars and this nation will be maintained by Arm Scholars.